Good morning, everyone. Cad Lab CNC. I woke up early today. It's 7.36 in the morning and uh, everyone's still sleeping. So I figured let's go to the shop and anodize a keycap Christmas theme. This should be fun. So let's go. Okay, so I woke up this morning and pretty much everyone was sleeping. And uh, I knew I had things to do in the shop today, but it's Christmas Eve, December 24th for crying out loud. So, oh, hold on, wait a minute. Let me get into the spirit. Yeah, yeah, you dig it? <laughs> Guys, so this hat was made by a person by the name of Mama Dawn. She's really good at knitting these hats. And uh, to be honest with you, these hats are almost like a therapy for her. So every Christmas, I wear this hat to uh, show support to my Mama Dawn. I appreciate you. I love the hat and I wear it every single Christmas. Now, back to the details. It's December 24th. I woke up in an a mood where I wanted to do something uh, besides just work and get custom orders done and just, you know, my everyday grind. I decided to come in today to record a YouTube video. Yes, on Christmas Eve. I wanna anodize a keycap that is going to resemble Christmas. Some way, somehow, I, I don't know how we're gonna do it. I don't, I don't even have a plan for this. I just know that I wanted to make a YouTube video on Christmas Eve for you guys on YouTube and hang out with you guys through video and camera. We have a cat in here. We're gonna be anodizing both of these. We're gonna clean them up really, really good and do our little Christmas snowflake pattern on them. What does that look like? I have no idea. <laughs> Pretty sure you've guys seen these before. Here's our custom key crypt where we make them for your special artisans. Here's a Lumerous. This is GMK Dracula that goes along with the Dracula set. We also made some arrow keys and anodized those to go along with the set. The key to a beautiful anodized part is it being absolutely clean. So we put on these black gloves to protect the surface of the aluminum. Now we're gonna use my fancy dancy wires that I use to rack these keycaps with. Then we take this guy and we're gonna screw him on. We are quickly set up and ready to have some fun. Okay, let's cut that degreaser on. Let's grab our keycaps and get ready to put them in a degreaser to be cleaned. Merry Christmas. You can see we definitely have some heat happening. We have a little bit of steam. Let's take these over here and let's drop them in there. Put them in there for about five minutes and we're off. Looking pretty shiny. All right, let's rinse it off. Now, I, I didn't want to tell you this right away, but we do have a treat, all right? So here it is. We have found a solution to chemical polishing. It doesn't really apply to pieces like this that are just fresh out of the machine and ready to be uh, sandblasted. The chemical polishing is really, really helpful to bead blasting. I'm trying to decide if I want to sandblast one and then chemically polish it and then show you guys what it's doing. Should I do that? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, now let's bright dip this. Going to be putting on a respirator for safety purposes. 
Of course, this stuff is very, very dangerous and we're gonna be sticking this guy in there. There we go. Let's dump it in our D-Smut solution for about five minutes. Come back, check on it. Okay, so we have our bright dip part, bead blasted bright dip part, and we have our normal CNC fresh off the mill finish part. We're gonna put it inside of the anno tank, get it going, wait for it to finish, and then we'll have some fun color in this thing. Look at how beautiful the machine finish part looks. Now, we're gonna let it sit in the anno tank for about 20 minutes to an hour. And when it's finished, we're gonna take it out. This is the most gut-wrenching part out of the whole entire process because all those steps that you prepped for the anno tank will be all for nothing if this part doesn't come out right. What's happening in the anno tank right now is we're actually building an oxidized layer on top of the surface of the aluminum which creates these little honeycomb shaped pockets. And guess what those pockets do? They allow dye to enter the pores, thus giving you whatever color you put them in. Ooh, science, baby. Now we're gonna pull these pieces out of the anno tank and properly rinse them off. By the way, if you see that behind us, that is a whole entire 3D resin printing setup, guys. I know we haven't done a video about that and I haven't even announced anything about that. That's because I've been like personally taking time to learn how to use this. But our next video will be us using this and we're gonna be printing something that's very, very special to a person that is very special to us. All right guys, time to take this out. Key cap number one. Keycap number two. This is the bright dip one, guys. I don't know if I really did it right, but we'll see. We'll see. It's my second time using it, first time on camera. All right, second try in green. Check that out. Let's put it in there for a couple more seconds. See what happens. Christmas green for sure. Forgive me, but I did not show you guys the red because I was focusing too long on the green. But this is the bright dip part. Um, I see a little bit of like striping going on, but that could have been you know, due to me leaving it in there too long, not leaving it in there long enough. The red did come out pretty baller, I'm not gonna lie. Now at first glance, you're like, uh, CAD lab, that looks a little crazy. I know, I know, and that's okay. Let's delete the color to this bad boy. The red is 100% deleted, and look what we have left behind. A beautiful red sprinkle pattern. Let's get rid of the color. And would you look at that? Color gone. We have the green behind the mask. And now we have the silver exposed. Or the aluminum silver natural look exposed. Super cool, guys. I have added the reverse colors. Look at that. Uh, look at that red and that green. Oh, absolutely stunning. Okay, add in flakes. Add in flakes, add in flakes. Let's turn around and do it to this side. All right, so what I'll probably do with these keycaps here is go ahead and run them to the sealer where the pores are now going to be shut closed and that traps the dye inside of the pores. So that way you can keep all the color that you have added to the aluminum piece. Now, 
I'm going to wait for those to seal. We're going to put them on the table. We're going to take a good look at them. And then when we're finished, we're going to take an awesome photo, a thumbnail photo. Yeah, right. All right, guys, here is the final product. Our little Christmas caps fun anodizing session. I appreciate you guys being here. Um, it was just such a good idea to come in here early and just mess around with some keycaps, have a little bit of fun and realize, you know, everything that I'm doing now, I decided to because we have dreamed of it. We've seen this vision before we even got into this building and purchased any of these machines. We've all seen it. Um, if you can dream it, if you can believe it in here, you can make anything happen. I promise you guys. This would probably be the biggest advice to you guys. See it in here first and you can make it happen, guys. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. It's December 24th, Christmas Eve. You guys should be snuggled in with your families, making all those moments count, taking pictures. I hope everyone has got a chance to open up gifts early, early this morning. I know we did. So love you guys. Thank you for tuning in. This is CAD Lab CNC. Merry Christmas, and we're out. We're not out just yet. I have to do the hat flick. Now we're out.